Hi everybody, today I'm just going to show you how to make a really simple white apron like the one that I'm wearing right now. It's a really easy project. If you're new to sewing, this is a good one to start with. I'll keep it really, really simple and hey. we'll get it done. Right, Liam? Liam is going to be playing hey. in the playroom over here while I'm doing this and then yeah. he's going to go down for a nap pretty soon and Desi is already down for his nap. So this will be kind of a nap time activity today, a nap time creation. And I hope you'll enjoy it. I feel like a white apron is a really good piece to have just to throw on to protect your clothes if you're cooking or cleaning or whatever. And they look super cute. So I hope you'll really enjoy this video. See you later. See you later. So first things first, we need to get our pieces together. So I had cut my fabric pieces the morning before I filmed this just because I figured me cutting fabric wasn't that interesting to watch. Um, so this is the main portion of the apron. This is kind of the, the apron front, the, you know, skirt portion kind of of the apron. And I believe it was 42 inches by 20 inches. And then I'm just showing you at the top, that's where we're going to kind of gather it together, um, to attach the waistband. And then I will show you next. Let's see. This is the waistband. So I would recommend cutting the waistband, uh, which is also going to be your straps to tie the apron together about 60 inches. I cut mine a little shorter just because of the amount of fabric that I had. And so I think it was supposed to be 60 inches by about five or six inches. And then that'll get folded in half. And you'll see all of that in a minute. And then this is the bib front for the apron. So this I believe was 10 by 12. So it'll be a little bit um, taller, I guess, than, than it will be wide. Um, and these are all just the measurements that I find to work really well. You can always adjust these to fit you better or, you know, whatever you prefer. And then this piece is the strap to attach, you know, the bib around your neck. So this one I cut to be about two feet by about four inches. So now I'm going to go ahead and start sewing together the waistband and the strap and then the bib front just because those pieces are really simple to put together and I kind of like just knocking them out right at the start. So this is the waistband I believe that I'm sewing right now. I just fold it in half right sides together and then I sew down along the length of it. And then we're going to go ahead and turn that right side out to hide those raw edges inside um, in just a little while here. You'll see me do that. So I'm just getting that sewn together. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the strap. Sew it right sides together along the edge so that when we flip it right sides out, it'll be hiding all of those raw edges. And then we'll iron it and you'll see that in a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and sew together the bib front pieces as well. So there we go, we got the strap done, and I'm just setting those aside for when we're gonna flip them right sides out in a minute and trimming off any excess little, you know, fraying or anything that's going on there. And yeah, super simple, just sewing again, just like with the straps and the waistband, I'm just sewing the um, right sides together so that we can flip it and those raw edges will be hidden inside nice and neat going all along the edges and then I'm leaving one side open so that I can flip it right sides out. Now I am starting to sew the actual apron portion, the kind of apron skirt as I tend to call it. Um, and I'm just going along the edges, rolling them and sewing over them so that I'm hiding all of those raw edges and making it nice and neat so we won't have any fraying or anything like that. And I find that I'm using my aprons pretty much every single day and they go through the wash a lot. So I really like rolling the edges so that they're just extra, I think, durable that way. Um, and I haven't had any issues with my other ones this way. And it's super easy to just roll and sew over. So I'm doing that on three sides and I'm leaving the top of the apron undone because I'm going to gather that in just a moment, which you will see. And so I'm just going to set my machine to the widest and longest stitch setting. And I'm going to start a stitch, run it all the way down the top of the apron. And I'm not going to back stitch when I get to the end so that I can then grab those um, threads and just gently pull and gather all of that fabric to the point that I like it for fitting around my waist. So 
that's kind of a personal preference thing. I like my aprons to wrap almost entirely around my body just for extra coverage for my clothes, but you could gather that as much or as little as you like. Um, and we're just going to sandwich that into the waistband in a minute. And then once I'm happy with how gathered it is, I just tie a little knot to secure it and then run a stitch over that to kind of secure those gathers into the place where I want them. And you can kind of run your hand along it and adjust the gathers to get into the place um, that you feel like looks nice. So now I am flipping the bib front right side out and I'm starting the process of flipping the straps and the, well, the strap and the waistband right side out as well. So I just use a safety pin to do this. Um, I apologize for not showing a little closer how to do that, but I'm sure you can Google that or I can show that in a future video. Um, it's a super easy way to kind of flip things right side out. So that's what I'm doing here. So now we have our uh, edges all hidden nicely inside of those little tubes. And I'm going to take my iron and iron those down nicely so they are nice and crisp and clean. I'm going to iron the waistband as well. And the waistband I'm being a little uh, more careful with, trying to get the seam right along the edge, if that makes sense. Um, because this is going to obviously be our waistband. And I find that having that seam right along the edge just looks really clean and nice. And then I'm going to iron the bib front as well. And now I'm going to get that waistband ready to sandwich the top of the apron inside of it. So all of those raw edges of that gathered top of the apron will be hidden inside of the waistband. So I'm just lining that up to be centered. And then I'm just kind of putting the top of the apron into the folded over waistband and pinning that in place so that we can then sew along that and secure it in just a moment here. Now I'm going to flip the ends of the strap inward a little bit so that the, the raw edges that are still exposed there are going to get tucked inside and then I just sew those down. Do that on both sides, clipping away any uh, loose threads as I go. Just folding it in, sewing it down so all the raw edges are hidden away. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the end of the bib front that was still open. So I just kind of tuck it and fold it inward nice and neat and then sew that down and then we're going to attach the strap to the top of the bib front in just a second here super simple just taking the end of that and putting it on the inside of the top of the bib front sewing that on there so we're just attaching the strap we've got that done on one side now i'll do the other side and again that's on the back so the inside of the top of the bib front so that it's all kind of hidden away. And then let's see, I believe I'm going to get started on the waistband. So same thing, the raw edges on the ends, I'm just tucking and folding those down and sewing them so that no raw edges are showing. And that's going to prevent fraying and all of that and keep things nice and neat. And then I'm going to sew down the length of the waistband, which is sandwiching that gathered top portion of the apron. So as I go, I'm just making sure to sew right along the edge of that waistband, keeping the apron itself sandwiched nice and neat and tight inside of that waistband. Hopefully this is making sense. I'm finding it's a little bit hard to describe what I'm doing, but hopefully seeing it will also help, even though it is kind of fast. So always, you know, give me your feedback if you need things slowed down, if you need things sped up, whatever. I'm, I'm happy to adjust things in these videos. And just continuing down along the waistband, which is also our closure straps, making sure the ends are tucked in there and clipping away any loose threads. Now I'm going to attach the bib front to the inside of the apron, to the inside along the waistband, just making sure it's centered on the apron. And we are almost done. So I'm trying to make sure that those stitches are also lining up with the stitches um, that I attached the waistband to the apron with <laughs> and clipping away any loose threads and we are almost done here. Here she is, 
all completed. I'll turn it around in just a second so you can see the back. But it's super easy. You know, that took me like 45 minutes. Um, I guess if you add in the time that it took me to cut the fabric, because I cut the fabric in advance earlier this morning, um, you know, that adds on a few minutes there. So under an hour, I'd say I was able to whip this out. And that was with a few breaks to go, you know, put Liam down for a nap and that kind of thing. So it's a pretty quick project. And, you know, I'm sure the more you do it, the more, the faster you would get at it too. But it's just such a fun little piece. So let me show you the back real quick. So here's what the back looks like. I have the top knotted um, just so that it would fit over the mannequin. But you can kind of either make this strap long enough that it'll kind of fit for anybody and then you can just knot it around your neck to get it kind of where you want it to sit it or you can obviously measure this to make it fit um you know around your head nicely um whatever you prefer and then i i'm sure i've said this already in the voiceover but i would make sure to cut your waistband a lot longer than this I mean, you know not a lot longer but definitely longer than this so that you can tie a nice little bow and I just like having a little bit more room with my straps but um, this was the amount of fabric that I had to work with today so that's why these are a little bit shorter than I would normally make them but yeah I'm really really happy with it I hope you will try this out like I said it's a really good one for beginners and she's a little crooked here Ooh. scooch that over a little bit sorry Betty but yeah, it's just, it's such a fun, fun little project. And I use my white aprons probably every single day. So I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of this one as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be back with another Sew With Me video very soon. And you can also check out all the other videos that we post. We do all kinds of stuff on this channel. So thanks again. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks again for watching, everyone. I hope you'll try this and I hope you'll come back soon. Bye.